In this video, I'm going to show you on how to calculate the standard deviation value of ungrouped data by using Casio FX570EX calculator. Now, consider this example. Uh, I need to calculate the standard deviation value. All right. So the very first step is we need to restart the setting and the memory inside this calculator. Turn on the calculator first. Press the shift button followed by number 9 and then for, uh, press button 3 to initialize all and then press equal for yes and then press easy button to clear the screen okay next step press shift okay and then press setup button here okay and then press equal sorry press uh, arrow down button okay and then press number 3 statistics Okay, for this case, we need to turn off the frequency since this is um, ungrouped data. My data right now, uh, we don't have any frequency value. So press button 2 to turn off the frequency. Okay, next step, press menu button. Okay, and then press uh, button 6. Okay, um, because the 6th option here is the statistics function so press button 6 for statistics okay and then press button 1 for variable okay now the next step is we need to insert our x values into this calculator so right now i have a value of 40 30 70 61 48 and 60 okay so the first x value is 40 so 40 and then to save this uh, data in the calculator, you need to press equal. Okay, the next value is 30. Okay, the next value is 30. 30 equal. The next one is 70 equal. 61 equal. You just need to uh, repeat the same process for the rest of the data. 48 equal. And the last one is 60 equal. Okay, and then you can press um, AC button. Okay, you can press AC button to clear the screen of your calculator. Okay, moving on to the next step. We need to obtain the summation values. Okay, we need to obtain the summation values from the calculator. Okay. As for the formula of standard deviation, this is the formula. Okay. Um, for standard deviation formula, we must have the value of summation of x, x squared summation of x and also the value of n okay so we need to have these three values okay so to obtain these values from the calculator you need to press option button optn okay followed by number two okay number two for variable calculator okay now on the screen of your calculator right now you have the summation of x value as you can see here summation of x is 309 so this is our first summation value okay next for summation of x square this is the summation of x square okay the value is 7 17025 okay this is the second summation value okay the next summation value that we need is the value for n so for n value you need to press arrow down button here okay so n value is equal to 6 all right okay now you can substitute these three values into the formula of standard deviation okay the next step is we want to obtain the final answer from the calculator okay you can clear the screen of the calculator Okay, now press button OPTN. Okay, press option button in your calculator. And then you need to press arrow down button. Okay, and then you can press button 2 for variable. Okay, we have 6 options right now on the screen of this calculator. For standard deviation value, you must refer to option number 5. As you can see here, here for option number 5, 
uh, the symbol is SX. So this symbol represents the value of sample standard deviation. So press number 5. Okay, and then press equal. So this is the final value of standard devi deviation, 14.9097.